All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today, our topic I just saw this video, and the Muslims are posting it. Uh, there's a guy, he is a Jew, and supposedly he claimed to be a rabbi. He lives in Indonesia. And I made before many videos getting him busted, and today is nothing new, just another video to get him busted. I will show you on the screen what I'm talking about. Please invite your friends, we are in the other account which is a sub account, you know, a backup account. You will see this video here with me and you will see the title is the following. Surah 930, do all Jews believes, believe Ezra to be the son of Allah? A rabbi versus Christian apologist. So supposedly the Muslims, they are using this guy to refute the Christians. However, uh, what happened or what's going to happen now is the opposite i want to say thank you for muslims by the way this guy he lives in indonesia and because he lived between muslims and i think he is married to a muslim woman too in indonesia this is why he will never dare to say something wrong about islam you watch all his videos always he speak good about muhammad muhammad is a wonderful man uh, he attacked christianity for sure because that's what the muslims like but he will never say one negative word he's a jew you know he's a he is a professional jewish guy who sells jewelries in Indonesia this is what he do for a living but yet he claimed that to be a rabbi but the fact is not <clears throat> now listen carefully what this guy will say in this video so we can laugh together very embarrassing it's obviously he is a fake man who say nothing because he is afraid to say the truth but even though he did not say it but we got him busted listen carefully was the son of God where does this come from and how do you respond to such a claim first of all the questions they come to them those are questions already written that not even somebody in uh, like life on air is asking question this is a question already he have it he want to talk about it because somebody posed for him before but they claim that they just received the question and the guy supposedly he knew what he's talking about listen carefully that's an interesting question um that comes from um the Quran, it's chapter 9, it's the chapter. See, he, he's a person who knows every verse in the Quran right away. Um, um, and he starts like, he's, he is a he's a very professional Jew. <laughs> he starts like scratching his beast. Yeah, this is in chapter 9, verse number, supposedly he knew the Quran by heart. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Called repentance, or it's at Taba. See? And um, it's the chapter 9, uh, Surah 9, verse 30. Even he know the verse number. Um, and there it says that um, the Jews say that um, that Ezra is the son of God. The Christians say that Allah, that uh, the Christians say that the Messiah is the son of God. They speak with their mouths, um, but they really, what look, they look, have look. essentially. Look how professional this Jew is. He's trying to remember. They speak in their mouth. Mm -hmm. um, um, mm -hmm. Amazing actor. I mean, look, he can quote it word by word, but he cannot remember it still. You see, like he's reading it, but... Um, um, <laughs> ...is something they receive from the past, and they're speaking absolutely <laughs> nonsense. And uh, essentially, the... Um, and then and and God and Allah is against them because what they're saying essentially is a perversion, something essentially like that. And it was so. Now, what's very intriguing about this passage in the Quran is that, um, of course, everybody who reads it is going, "Wait, I don't know any Jew who believes that Ezra, a great prophet, and incidentally is considered." A prophet in Islam as well. Uh, I don't know any Jew who believes that guys Ezra is a prophet in Islam too. There's a prophet in Islam, his name is Ezra. Look at this poopoo. Nice to meet you. <laughs> in Islam, there's a prophet, his name is Ezra. <laughs> Can you show me where it gets from from Abdul? Brother, I like your beard. 
I know you work in jewelry. I know you are making good money from the Muslims. But when you make a lie, I mean, okay, show us where where in Islam the Quran teach that there's a prophet. His name is Ezra. I want to see the name, please. In Islam, there's a prophet. His name is Ezra. What a potato! Scratch your beard stronger. Maybe the information would be fixed. Ezra was the son of God, and we say the son of God. That means the son of God in a Greek sense, in a crystal, it, the way Christians believe that Jesus was the son of God, that he was divine. Okay? There's another term, son of God, to separate that, that all Muslims believe that we're all children of God. They don't, that's not the idea. Guys, Muslims believe that they are children of God. Muslims believe that they are children of God too. <laughs> true, true. This is a true, absolutely, Abdul. All Muslims believe that they are the children of God. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, what, what, what this guy he eat before he talk? I mean, he is the most hypocrite, corrupt person. Just because he is doing business with the Muslims in the Muslim country, he is willing to sell anything. The Muslims believe that they are children. That they are the sons of God too. Are you sure? <laughs> continue, continue. Accusation here. The accusation is that literally Ezra was a divine being, and and he, he the Muhammad actually equates the the Jews believing that Ezra is the son of God with Christians who believe that the Messiah, namely Jesus Isa, is the son of God, and then he just condemns it. Now, it's very intriguing is that there are no Jews that I've ever met in my life that believe that. See. And the, the the Islamic commentators, and there's an enormous amount of literature written on this passage by some by ancient commentators of Islam who were confronted with the same question: What 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 Jews are we talking about? So the the commentators, the Islamic commentators on this, are absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. Um, many of them say that there was this Jew. I think the name this guys even he remember the name he remember from the books of interpretation even the name I mean this is a professional professional rabbi somebody saying that this guy is coming from the line of rabbis how, how stupid of you to say he is coming from the line of rabbis is that a line is that a line we run I mean the rabbi if you are a person of knowledge you speak if, if not shut up to be to be able to be called rabbi first of all how dare you to defend the God of Islam and to take the side of the God of Islam if you are a rabbi? What kind of line this line is? The line take the side of Muhammadan and those who hate the Jews and they, they teach to kill them. So don't tell me he is from a sign and he is from the sons of rabbi. This is garbage. What family? If there is something called my family rabbi. Is that something you inherit? Is that a business? Like you are born as a rabbi? Like you are born from your father and that's it, you are a rabbi, you have his knowledge. A rabbi is somebody he study, he learn himself. You cannot inherit knowledge. So don't speak stupid, please. Let us continue. They ascribe him to his man named Phineas or Pinchas ben Ezra, ben who they say was this one Jew who had this crazy heretical belief in, in Muhammad. It is one Jew. Guys, the, the, the scholars of Islam, they try to explain this. So they said there was one Jew. Let me go back. Let me go back and show you how stupid what you just said. Trying to explain that the Quran, you don't want, you don't dare to say the Quran is making poo poo. So look what you did. If we go back in his translation, the one he put in the screen. Let me zoom in. I hope the translation is coming better for you, so you can read better. This is a false translation. Is no exist nowhere in the Quran. Nowhere in the Quran says the Ezra. This is number one lie. Where is the word Ezra? I want to see it. I changed the Muslim to show me the name Ezra in the Quran. Unless you are saying to me that the Quran called the wrong name. And here you will see that the verse saying the Jews say, not a Jew. Because if you are saying the scholars they say there was one Jew who believed in that, then how Allah he said the Jews. That means Allah is a stupid idiot. He says things doesn't make sense and he is not able to recognize if it is the Jews or one Jew. Correct, guys? And look what it says. It says the Jews and the Christians. 
so both equal in numbers the Jews all of them and the Christians all of them it's not one Jew but in order to explain why Muhammad is lying and where this coming from they have to explain says there was one Jew there is one Jew one Jew and now this guy he's trying to explain he don't dare to say to Muhammad Muhammad is a false prophet so he says uh, there was one Jew there was an one Jew one Jew one Jew have you ever heard of a sect it's called one Jew there was one Jew my friend this guy he have no debate this guy's an idiot I challenge him to debate me here on the way like a potato he's a coward he's a scam he is nothing uh, one Jew but the Quran does not say one Jew the Quran says the Jews secondly in the translation nowhere it says Uzair says or uh, Ezra it says Uzair and Uzair is two different name if we go in the Quran right now <clears throat> you see here even the title the Muslims Abdul they make it clear who is Ezra where is Ezra where it says Ezra even in the interpretation Ezra who is Ezra they don't even know Ezra and this guy he said that in Islam there's a prophet his name is, is, is uh, his name is, is, is Israel where we can find that name what a liar you are then if we continue let us go to the Quran this is the Quran in the front of us we will show it in Arabic and in English remember this guy he live in Indonesia so he will never say something negative about Islam he will not dare otherwise his head will fly like a ball وقالت اليهود عزير عزير نو إزرا. there's a huge difference between عزير and إزرا. ابن الله. and here he said وقالت اليهود اليهود all of the يهود all the يهود. وقالت النصارى all the نصارى. translation please. maybe I'm not telling the truth. Guys, do you see it? Let me zoom in. Does it say the Jews? It says the Jews, right? So if it is one Jew, why Allah saying the Jews? Was that a mistake of Allah? So in order to, to, to explain stupidity written in the Quran, which nobody can explain, not a single Jew, not a single Jew has ever exist. Have even heard of a name of a guy, his name is Uzair, not Ezra. As you see, Uzair. Here we don't have you have you don't have the letter A in, in English, so it is Uzair, not Ezra. There's a huge difference between the two names. There's main letters are not exist here. The Jews they said, not a Jew. The Christians, they said, not a Christian. So in order to, to explain, he don't dare to say that Muhammad, obviously, he is a lying. And me as a Jew, I can confirm to you that we don't believe in that. And actually, he said that. He said, I never heard, I never saw one single Jew believe in this. And he said, obviously, that the, 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 uh, the one who do the interpretation, they were confronted with this question and they come with the answer that it was one Jew but because they could not explain how come nobody have such a name and no not a single Jew believe in that All right so we we have you know we always have some people who they are sold for the devil this guy he live in Indonesia he promote his cult there and he always attack a Christianity he he attack a Christianity with all his teeth he tried to rip it off and the, the coward I offer him to debate me but he will never do so he will never even get close I offer him even to call him you see he says that he have a phone to call okay give me your phone to call I want to call you let us call you cowards 
the Quran, all translation and even interpretation, they confirm that the Jews they say, and look how let, let us let us make it more clear. Guys, read carefully with me. Read carefully with me. This is Ibn Kathir. Does it say that is their saying? This is Quran now. Does it say that is their saying? If it is one Jew, why the Quran saying that is their saying? <laughs> <laughs> Abdul, Abdul, you think you can get a Jew to explain the stupidity of the Quran? You cannot. He cannot defend the Quran. It doesn't matter how much corrupt he is, but obviously it is there. What one Jew? It. This is their saying. The Quran says all the Jews believe in that, and this is their saying. Read with me carefully, Abdul. Alhamdulillah. Fighting the Jews and the Christian because, because of what you see, the Quran is a peaceful book because they are idolaters and disbelievers, so they we have to be killed. Islam is peace. Allah the exalted encouraged the believers to kill. This, this is not to fight, by the way. Qatilu is a word in Arabic, mean fight to kill, to kill the polytheist, disbelieving Jews and Christians. Why? For they altered uttered their terrible statement and utter lies against Allah against Allah who's Allah and the exalted for the Jews they claimed do you see guys it says they claimed do you see it they claimed that Uzair was the son of God it is not a Jew you liar it is the Jews all the Jews and the Quran and if we if we take what what somebody says it is one Jew that's mean the Quran is a corrupt book somebody he changed it from from being correct to be one Jew to be the Jews there you see it says there it says the Jews why <clears throat> so here he's saying why why the Muslim they should kill the Jews so because one Jew, he believed that there is a guy, his name is Uzair, is a son of Allah, we kill all the Jews. <laughs> but as you see, it's a different story. All the Jews believe in this. This is why it is a must to fight them and kill them all. Allah the exalted encouraged the believers to fight the polytheist and the disbeliever, disbelieving Jews and the Christians. What is the disbelief they have? They believe that there's a guy, his name is Uzair, he is the son of God. They believe, the Jews. And this coward trying to cover the poo, -poo of Muhammad because he lived in Indonesia and he don't dare to say so. Well, Muhammad is a fake man. That is their saying, their, not one guy saying. With their mouth is their, not one. And this is all what we want to say to you today. <clears throat> I wanted to get him busted fast and easy. Guys, don't forget, please, after we finish, to download the video and share it around and get the Abdul busted. We are here to expose every false person who promote lies. And he said in the title that the Jews, Muhammad said the Jews believe in Israel. And he said that the Jew, that the, 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 uh, um, uh, in Islam, there's a prophet. His name is Ezra. I want to see the name. I want him to show me the name of the prophet Ezra in the Quran. Please show us what 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 a donkey you are. What a donkey. Who is Ezra? The Muslim they believe in Ezra. Are you sure? Are you sure? So they try to change the first corruption they try to do in his video. They try to change the name from Uzair to Ezra. The second change saying that it was only one Jew when the Quran says they're saying the Jews and Allah want to kill all the Jews because they are worshiping this guy, Uzair. Allah the exalted encouraged the believers to kill the Jews and the Christians. Why? Because they claimed, they claimed, coward liar, they claimed, not he claimed, they claimed that Uzair was a son of God.
what a bunch of potatoes I mean how many people I need to spank every day you tell me guys I'm going to go to sleep each time I'm gonna go to sleep I find somebody I need to spank him even my hand hurt uh, by the way I heard <coughs> I heard that uh, uh, Muhammad hijab because everybody is making fun of him he is complaining to YouTube and he is saying that those people are invading my privacy privacy what, privacy what privacy <laughs> <laughs> he is flagging all the videos getting him busted keep trying keep trying Abdul you really became famous the first day they were enjoying what they call victory the second day they notice when the dust settled down that it was a horrible debate and now he is flagging the videos because he became the joke of everybody keep it flagging abdul may allah help you may allah and the angels pray on you for you sorry for you pray for you not on you <laughs> Allah pray for not to and Elijah is God with us mm. and let me teach you Arabic brother I know it's coming I know let me give you free Arabic listen I cannot wait thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you please 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 don't forget when you finish this video uh, wait for a few minutes It's going to be ready for download and you can download it and share it with your friends thank you very much for being here may the Lord be with you and this was a Christian Prince Wishing you a good day or a good night, depending on your location. Thank you and take care. Bye bye.